Hi everyone, Brian here. And the Wii U just celebrated its third birthday last week. It was released November 18th, 2012. And in that short period of time, it has become one of my favorite consoles of all time. And that is because it's a great system to have for Nintendo first parties and especially platformers. Lots of my, some of my favorite platformers of all time are on this system. And I've had more fun with this console than I would say since the Super Nintendo. Actually, a home console I haven't had more fun with. So I know it gets a bad rap, but it has a lot of good games if you like platformers and Nintendo IPs, which I happen to love. So we'll start out with the console itself. I, I ordered this at Walmart a few months when it was announced and got it at midnight on a Sunday in, um, on November 18th, 2012, three years ago. Very excited to have it. This is the Deluxe Edition. You see they have the digital promotion here in the top right here. When you download or games, you get points and you um, can put those towards other games. That's no longer the, available anymore. Uh, it only ran for a year or so, but awesome to have. And the digital uh, and the deluxe edition comes with 32 gigabytes of hard drive space, and in the black color. And you see on the back just how that box looks. Also picked up a Wii U Pro controller. This controller is one of my favorites too. Very comfortable. The battery life is very very good on this. Um, lasts for hours, hours, hours. Um, very comfortable. I like the I like how the triggers. I like. Uh, the the uh, thumbsticks, I like the buttons, the control pad is awesome, very good controller. Okay, we'll start off with the games here. Um, I guess first I will go over the big special boxes that I have of games. In no particular order, I'm just going to grab one from the top. Wii Party U, this is the um, bundle with the black Wii remote. Comes with a stand too. This is a fun game. I played it some with my mom. Uh, I haven't played a lot of it, but there's a lot of cool games on it. There's one where you kind of like dance around the gamepad on the floor. You use the gamepad in ingenious ways. If I had more people to play with, this would probably be one of my favorites. Um, but I haven't played it much because I don't have a lot of people to play. But what I have played, I really like. Um, and this is a game you can't really get on other systems. You know, if you want this kind of game, party game, uh, you know, you have to play either the Wii or the Wii U. Um, so yeah, Wii Party U. Here we have Mario Party 10. Whoops. Came with the Mario Amiibo. And this would be the only Mario Party. I have Mario Party 1. I've never played it. And I haven't even played this one yet. So this will be the. Unless I play Mario Party 1 before I actually get people, friends, or family to play this one. This will be the first Mario Party I've ever played. I've heard it's not very good, but me coming from not playing any Mario Party, and this might be my first, I'm sure I will enjoy, enjoy it as a party game. Um, so I'll take it for what it is, and yeah, comes with the Mario Amiibo, so glad to have that. Here we have Super Smash Bros. for Nintendo Wii U. Comes with the GameCube controller and the game, game, uh, GameCube adapter. This is the first Smash Brother game, Brothers game I've ever played. Well, I should say I played one or two matches of the one on N64. Never really got into it. I played a little bit of this. It's not my favorite. Um, I just can't, I'm not good at it, um, and I need to play it more to get good at it, and I just, there's other games to play. I, what I love about Smash Brothers, though, is that all the Nintendo characters in it, and the excitement that people get in fighting, and use playing against, with those characters. Very big game, they're still, co still committing to it with DLC. Um, characters are still being released, with Cloud being the one that's latest, uh, the latest announcement to be released, and, um, there's also the ballot poll, which people vote who will be in it. I don't know if that's still going on or not. But yeah, not my favorite game, but I'm happy to have it. And it comes with a, a GameCube controller and adapter. That's pretty awesome. So yeah, and it also brought us the Amiibo line, which I'm really hugely addicted to, which that would be a Wii U thing too, um, which I spent lots of, lots of time and money to get all the Amiibo I have. I'm only missing four so out of all the Amiibo released. And... The only one of those four I really want is um, King DDD. The rest are Fire Emblem characters. I think Ike, Robin, and Lucina, and King DDD are the only ones I need. Here we have Animal Crossing Amiibo Festival. This just came out this month. 
I played some with my mom, and I had a good time. She had a good time. Um, I like it because it's I, I took it for what it is. It's just a board game. You can it's a relaxing game to play. It's just fun. It's, everybody's happy. The, it's cute. It uses that Animal Crossing charm. It's not a deep game by any means, but I knew that going into it. And my mom, my mom loves Animal Crossing, and I like Animal Crossing. And it's something we can share together. I get her the amiibo, and she's happy with it. I got her this game, even though she doesn't have a Wii U, just to get the, you know, Isabel and Digby amiibo characters. And she has a little amiibo shelf with her Animal Crossing uh, game our happy home designer and she has new leaf and she put like over a thousand hours in that game and now she has a little shelf with her amiibo i got her all the amiibo and i got her the new 3ds isabel one and i like it i'm taking this home over thanksgiving we're gonna play it and have a good time and i, I like that that's something i can share with my mom and for that reason this is probably going to be a fun game for me and for right now that's the only way you can get the isabel and Digby Amiibo. I'm sure they will release them separate. They're cute. This is Rodea the Sky Soldier Limited Edition. Uh, this was released um, last month or October. Uh, I pre-ordered it back in summer on um, NIS's site. It comes with the Wii version of the game, which is uh, Yuji Naka, the creator, said recommends you play that one. That's the one that sticks true to his image, his design goal um, and create in his vision. The, th um, the Wii U version is a port I've heard of the 3DS ver version and it uses no motion controls excuse me and only control pad controls. Um, I've heard it's a port. I've heard it was done by another company not Yuji Naka's. Um, not the company that developed Yuji Naka's. Um, I heard it's not that great, but I haven't played either yet. I don't know if I'll start with the 3DS because I love handhelds, or the Wii U, or the Wii version. I've heard to start with the Wii version, but I'm not too sure. It came with an art book and what else? A key, like a pennant key. And yeah, I mean, it's it's pretty cool. It has like a little soundtrack to it. I'm happy to have this. It's one of the last Wii release games. Um, um, to be released over here, and it's actually pretty decent from what I hear. You use the um, Wii Remote only to zoom, like lock in on where you're going and zoom towards it and attack it. And the goal is to like keep in the air as much as possible when you get a ranking at the end from what I hear. So yeah, happy to have uh, add this to my Wii U collection and the Wii collection. Here is one of my favorite games on the Wii U. I love this game. I 100%ed it in two weeks. I love the amiibo for it. I love everything about it. Yoshi's Wooly World. This game is amazing. Um, if you love platformers, 2D platformers, if you love Yoshi's Island, um, all the Yoshi's Island games I like. Um, I haven't played Yoshi's Story yet, but this game is just fantastic. I had a blast playing it, and I like. I'm going. I might bring this one home to play with my mom because we started on um, mellow mode together on a co-op, so hopefully we can play through some of that. I would love to do that. But it comes with the adorable little green Yoshi. I had to get get him. And this game, if you have a Wii U, like platformers, and especially if you like Yoshi's Island, Yoshi's Woolly World A plus game. We got it. Oh yeah, and also Yoshi's Woolly World. We got it much later. It was originally released in June for Europe and Japan. We got it in October, but the worth was the wait was well worth it. Here we have The Legend of Zelda The Wind Waker HD. This is an HD port of The Wind Waker that was released on the GameCube. Um, I remember getting that game on the GameCube, one of the first games I got with my, well actually not the first, the first was Metroid Prime Mario Sunshine, and I picked this up, this might have been in third or fourth. But the HD version is beautiful. Um, the game itself was beautiful before the HD version, but the HD version is just adds more to it. The, it looks amazing. The controls, you can use the gamepad for your um, screen for your item inventory, so it's always there. You can drag it, your items up. makes playing it a lot easier, and I'm playing through it still currently. I haven't finished it since I got it. I'm only on, I think, the Wind Temple, where you go, tag around with your buddy, uh, the, the girl, I forget her name. But, beautiful game. Here is the special edition with the Ganondorf Amiibo. 
uh, very hard to find at the moment, but since then Nintendo has all their special editions have been in a more well stock than this guy was pretty hard to find. Um, fortunately, I was able to get one. I guess we'll start with this one here. We have this is kind of like a spec. It's not really a special edition, but. Super Mario Maker. This came in, this was a recent game released in September in the summer. It came in a, this box here with a idea book which gives you codes to type in and unlock videos to see what how some tips and stuff and also a design book with aspects to help you design. When I, this game's fun. Um, I like, I play levels. I don't really build levels. That's not really for me. Um, but I enjoy the heck out of playing levels. Um, I really enjoyed the 60 levels on the, um, that Nintendo created. I blew through those and I was current there's currently like a 100 Mario challenge you can do on normal and expert hard and easy Mario challenge, 10 Mario challenge that unlocks like all of the special levels from E3 2014 I think it was or 15 one of the two. Um, the Nintendo World Ch I should say Nintendo it unlocks the levels from Nintendo World Championships that are really fun. And the 100 Mario challenge you unlock, if you beat that, you unlock a costume. I need 24 costumes, and the only way I can get those remaining 24 is beat the expert mode, which is really hard, because some of those levels are really, really hard. So I'm working through that, and that's how I play Mario Maker. I don't really build levels, because I, I that's not really for me, but I love playing levels. And, and this game is good for that. It's an endless supply of Mario levels. I just, the only wish I want is I wish Nintendo would make like a whole new Super Mario Brothers like five, um, you know, and just put it on up here as downloadable content or something with the whole world map and all their genius and genius level design that Tezuka comes up with. I want to play more Nintendo levels. That's what I want to play. I mean, I played some fun community levels, sure, but I want to play Nintendo levels, and that's the only thing I I have a gripe about. I want to play more Nintendo levels, but. Great game. If you love creating, I could see how this would be even better. And also with Super Mario Maker, it came with this little Rubik's Cube here to celebrate Mario's 30th anniversary. So that's cool to have. Okay, here we go. We'll get started with the games. That gets out of the special edition and boxes and stuff like that. We have Bayonetta 2. I've never played this yet. I haven't played. It comes with Bayonetta 1. I've heard this is an amazing game. I haven't played either of them. Um, I don't know which one to start with. Either to start with the first Bayonetta or Bayonetta 2. Um, but yeah, I definitely want to start on these. On on these games, kind of intimidating to start in a game like that because. I, I beat Nin Ninja Gaiden on the Xbox. I really loved, and it was very hard. And I, I expect this to be similar, so it's kind of intimidating. I kind of put off starting it. Here's another one of my favorites on the Wii U: Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. Very cute and charming mm -hmm. game. Um, this takes Captain Toad, the character from Galaxy, and he he was like an explorer in 3D World, Super Mario 3D World, and puts him in his own game. And 3D World, there was these like little diorama stages where you moved the camera around and found a star and exited. This is a whole game of this. Um, I love how it starts just a cold opening where you run up with Toadette, get the star, and she gets kidnapped, and then you're on your adventure. Boom, the game starts real fast. Very fun game, very hard. I did 100%. It took me, you know, quite a while. Um, the last stage in particular, Mummy Me Mace Forever. Uh, it's like um, 60 stages of. Uh, a ma randomly generated mazes where you have to collect at least, I think it's 5,000 coins and get to the end of stage 60 without getting killed. Very hard. Very rewarding. I did all the amiibo content where you scan Captain Toad and he hides a little 8-bit Toad in the level. You have to find him. So I did everything. I completed this game 100%. Um, very cheap game too. $40. Awesome game. Captain Toad Treasure Tracker. Recommend it. Highly recommend it. My favorite game on the Wii U, Donkey Kong Country Tropical Freeze. This game's amazing. Um, I haven't played... I, Growing up, I only rented or played at the friend's house the Donkey Kong Country games, and they were okay. And I played Returns, and I liked it. This one, I love to death. It's my favorite Donkey Kong Country game. The graphics, the music's outstanding. 
very beautiful music. The gameplay is phenomenal. The level design is outstanding. This game is a treasure and a masterpiece. Um, I hundred percented it. I, w I went through everything, got it, beat everything on expert. Um, amazing game. If you love platformers, get this game. DuckTales Remastered. I never beat the original DuckTales because I didn't have it on the NES growing up. But DuckTales Remastered really is a great, great uh, retelling of that um, of that adventure. Very fun. I did beat this game. Um, it has like a um, a very good charm to it. The graphics are amazing. It has animated scenes in it. They're all the talky. I enjoyed them because they were great. You know, the, the cast voice cast was back. Um, just a great game, and it's really cheap too. You can probably find it for twenty bucks or so. Game and Wario. This was released early in the Wii U's life. Um, you can have five players on it. Um, I don't think it's like a traditional Wario Land game. It has a bunch of mini games. I haven't even played it yet, so I can't recommend. I can't recommend uh, you know comment on it much, but I do want to play it. Um, and I don't know why I haven't played it, because I do like WarioWare. I don't know, you know, but awesome to have this. I just picked up this game. This is Gianna Tw Sisters Twisted Dreams, Director's Cut. This is the sequel, I think, to Gianna Sisters DS on the Nintendo DS, which I picked up last summer. Um, this is a 2D platformer. Obviously, it's a riff on the Super Mario Brothers, um, Gianna Sisters. Um, I think it's an English game. In England, they came over up with the Gianna Sisters, maybe on an old computer. Um, but this looks really good. Look at the graphics on that. Um, so if you like platformers, you know, pick it up. I fig I love platformers, so I figured, what the heck, pick it up. Uh, it is a little harder to find. You have to go on Amazon. I think my Toys R Us had one copy, so it might be a little hard to find for you. Here is Hyrule Warriors. I picked this up not knowing what to expect. I never played a Dynasty Warriors game. Um, and I played it about halfway through when the timeline splits and you go Twilight Princess, um, Ocarina of Time, and I forget the other, maybe, I forget the other, Phantom Hourglass, oh no, 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 not Phantom Hourglass, um, Skyward Sword. You go through those, um, timelines, I believe. I got beat one or two of those. I just wasn't really feeling it, um, I don't like, this game, like, all stuff's going on when you're fighting and you have to constantly, you know, people are calling out for help and you go there and somebody else needs help. I just get frustrated with that. I don't like to be rushed and pulled around in different directions when I play a game. And Hyrule Warriors did that to me and then I kind of stopped playing it. But if you like, you know, that kind of thing, and the action is great in this game, and fighting Link with all, if, fighting with Link with all the moves and the different characters, um, Really awesome. I probably will pick it up and play it someday. I just got so many other games to play. And the 3DS version is coming out, Hyrule Warriors Legend, which has uh, lots of content added to it, like uh, Wind Waker. You can play as the King of the Red Lions, the King of Hyrule, the boat. And um, Linkle is going to be added. So yeah, um, very popular game. Um, sold very well. Tech, uh, Koei Tecmo actually developed it, I believe. So yeah, Hyrule Warriors Legend. Or Hyrule Warriors, I should say, not Hyrule Warriors Legend. Here's an odd game. I got this at a Toys R Us for like 10 bucks. I picked it up to play you know, with my mom or dad. And we played a little bit of it. It's okay. I mean, it's Jeopardy. What more can you say? But I wouldn't have picked this up for even 20 but for under 10 yeah, I'd pick that up. Here's another one of my favorite Wii U games. Um, I'm still playing through all the challenges, but I have like 99%. I have to beat like a few more challenges. They're really hard. I have to go through the one challenge where you got to go through all these challenges in a row, and I kind of stopped because it was really hard. Kirby and the Rainbow Curse. Um, this game is played entirely on the Wii U um, control pad, um, or the, the um, game pad. Um, you draw lines and move Kirby on those lines, and you know flick them to go faster. Turn, he turns into like a tank and a rocket and a sub. Very, very fun game. The graphics are great. The charm of it, the claymation, like in the beginning, the animated sequences, he's like stop motion. Very fun game, one of my favorites. Some. And it's, you know, I beat um, Kirby in the Canvas Curse. I do like this one better. Um, the Canvas Curse for the DS, you could have powers, but there's something about this game I like. It also came with um, this little coloring book here. 
See? Waddle D there and Meta Knight. Talks about the amiibo. It is amiibo compatible, so I do need to get King DDD. And I can't I have these little coloring pencils here. So happy to have that. Kirby and the Rainbow Curse, awesome game. Lego City Undercover. Here, this is like an open world Grand Theft Auto game, but in a Lego City universe. I haven't played it yet, so I can't really um you know can't really comment on it. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't know why I got it, because I don't really like Grand Theft Auto, but I figured maybe since it's Lego, maybe I like the charm of it more. It wouldn't be as, you know, violent and bloody. Um, but, yeah, I, I think I eventually will get around to playing this. So it'd be interesting. I don't play a lot of games like Open World Quest kind of games like this, so it'll be something completely different for me, and I'll probably stink at it and take forever with it. But hopefully it's I find fun in it. Mario Kart 8, one of the best games you can get on the Wii U. One of my favorites as well. Um, even the content mm -hmm. that came out with it was a lot. Um, and I beat everything on 150cc, Gold Star, and every course. Then they released downloadable content, and it was amazing with the carts and the tracks. You could race this Link, uh, Animal Crossing Villager, um, Tanuki Mario. Just amazing game. Um, and I 100% into the um, 150cc on the downloadable content courses. The only thing left I have to do is 200 CC on a, on you know gold stars on on 200 CC and 200 CC is a completely way different way of playing because you're really fast on that game. You have to use your break. It makes all the courses different. You can't just use the same tactics. This game is very very fun. Um, one of the best deals on the Wii U if you can get the if you don't have a Wii U and you like Mario Kart and you have people to play with. Um, get this game. There's a bundle with it for like 250 that comes with this and the system itself with all the downloadable content on it. Um, that that's a really good deal. Um, yeah, Mario Kart 8, amazing game. Just picked up Mario Tennis Ultra Smash. I have not played it yet. Um, it will be the first Mario Tennis game I've played since Power Tour, or the one on the 3DS, which I played a little bit of it. Um, I fear it's been getting slammed in reviews for not having a lot of content. That's okay, that's okay with me, since I haven't played a lot of Mario Tennis. I just want the tennis to be good, and the Mario characters to be there, and the charm to be there, and the graphics to be good, and the, you know everything about it. I want it to be Mario, which is tennis, and I think that will deliver that. Um, so yeah, Mario Tennis Ultra Smash. NES Remix, I'm still playing this. Um, I beat everything on the NES Remix um, collection, the like one on the 3DS, um, and then it unlocks Famicom Remix. This one is the same uh, with more games because the one on the 3DS takes out some. So I'm still going through it, beating like some of the games and stuff, and it's a really fun game. Um, just to play quick hits of Nintendo games just is really fun. Um, and plus the, the game art on the disc is awesome. Look at that. Awesome game, and you can get it for real cheap, too. These two games, I guess I'll put together. New Super Mario Brother, or New Super Mario Brothers U, right here. Awesome game. Um, and New Super Luigi U. Whoops. Awesome game, too. These kind of are same in the same world, and one you play as the green brother Luigi, and this one came out first. You play as obviously Mario. Um, the level design is superb. The gameplay is great. I even like the music. I know a lot of people don't like New Super Mario Brothers music. Um, and you have a world map too, which I always didn't like about the New Super Mario Brothers games, or even 3D Land or 3D um, Land on 3DS. As much as I love that game, it was kind of a generic map. This gives me a vibe of Super Mario World in the world map. There's hidden exits. Uh, there's a world map. It's awesome. Um, and they're named after like. Um, Meringue Clouds, Acorn Plains, Layer Cake Desert, you know, Cola, Cola, um, I think Cola is the Water World, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, awesome game. I 100%ed this, and one of the first Wii U games I did play because it came out at lunch. Awesome game, and you can get it with um, New Super Luigi U in a bundle pack for $60, bucks, um, which originally came as a bundle. Previously, the game with came like in one case with both games on one disc as a Wii U bundle when the Wii U was first launched. They kind of got rid of that when 3D World came out, but this October they released the game 
together in a bundle with both games on a disc too. You can find that new Super New Super Mario Brothers U plus New Super Luigi U bundle game. You can find it in stores now. It comes in a wet red case. Very highly uh, I, I, uh, highly recommend it if you like Mario Brothers games. Um, New Super Luigi U. It takes place in the same world, only you play as Luigi. There's no Mario. You rescue the princess. The, the levels are kind of remixed. Uh, the timer is a little quicker. He feels rushed, but I mean, not rushed as in the level design, but like as soon as you start, it does that da 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 like you're running out of time. So, a very fun game. And these two games together will give you hours and hours of enjoyment. And I would like to replay them again, honestly. Maybe I'll pick up the combo pack and play it through it again. What do we got here? Ah, one of my first games I beat after New Super Mario Bros. U was Ninja Gaiden 3, Gaiden 3, Razor's Edge. Uh, I really like this game. I actually went through it and beat it three times. Um, the original Ninja Gaiden games on the NES, 1 and 2 in particularly, were games I loved. Even though I never beat 1, I did beat 2, and 2 was one of them I remember growing up being looking at through the Nintendo Power Strategy Guide and loving that game and the artwork. I drew pictures of Ashtar. I bugged my parents for the first one after seeing it in a Woolworths department store just because of the cover um, with Ryu Hayabusa in front with the city in flames and loved it and got me into the Ninja Gaiden series. And then Ninja Gaiden on the uh, Xbox came out. That's why I got an Xbox, actually, I think. Um, did I get an Xbox because of that? I think that was really the first game I really played on the Xbox. Loved it. Um, uh, took a while to get used to because it is kind of challenging, but once you do get through it, it's not bad at all. And you just feel totally ins good when you fly through the levels and beat up on ninjas. And Awesome game. The second one, I... Ninja Gaiden 2 on the Xbox 360, that's why I picked up an Xbox 360. Very good, not as good as the first one, but very, very good. I remember the slowdown in one part where you're climbing these stairs and all these ninjas come out at you. It was really cool. Um, it was just so much action going on that the Xbox 360 could not handle it. It would just slow to a crawl. And my 360 actually froze once during that. And I love Ninja Gaiden 2. Beat it multiple times, just like the first one on the Xbox. Ninja Gaiden 3, I like, um, and I it gets a lot of bad rap, but I do enjoy it. The only thing I don't like is the quick time events. I thought they could have got rid of those, but it's it's up there for me. I like it just like the first two. Um, I, from what I understand, the original Ninja Gaiden 3 is not as good, and they went through and tweaked it and called it Razor Ninja Gaiden 3 Razor's Edge and added um, you know more deep gameplay, made it more challenging. So yeah, I do like this game. And you can get it for like 10 bucks now, so yeah, highly recommend it. Here's one I haven't that came with by Wii U. Nintendo Land. I have not played a lot of this at all. I think I played mostly Crash Course, which I got past the first Donkey Kong Crash Course level. And I played some of the Zelda with my mom. Um, but this is a game you really need people to play to have fun with. Um, but maybe not. Maybe I should just sit down and play single player. Um, I... One of my goals was to beat the Donkey Kong Crash Course game because that was fun. And I do want to beat the Zelda one too. And I think I'll be good with that. But I would like to play this more. And, and you can get this for cheap too. One thing about Nintendo Land, it uses the gamepad in very unique ways. Like asynchronous, they call multiplayer. Where one person has the gamepad and what they're playing is completely different than the other person sees on the TV. Very unique and very cool because of that. I would like to see a sequel to that game. Pikmin 3? Ah, oh, geez, this is a game I want to love so much. Um, I've started it over again, like, twice, and I just am terrible at it. I feel rushed and anxious when I play it. I, I just don't like that feeling, as I mentioned earlier in a game that I was playing. I, I just don't like feeling rushed. Um, you have to find fruit all the time to refill your... your supply of food and there's a time limit and you got to worry about your Pikmin. It's like an RTS and I'm not really big into RTSs. Granted this is the only Pikmin game I played and I do want to finish it but man oh man is it tough for me to finish. It's such a beautiful game too. I love the charm, the characters, the graphics. Everything about it just oozes Nintendo charm. I just wish I liked it more. Um, maybe I need to just play and play and play and get better at it but 
man, I just, this is a bummer for me. I really wanted to like this game more than I do. But who knows, maybe I will get around to finishing it. Here we have Rayman Legends. This was another great platformer. It was originally supposed to come out as a Wii U exclusive, and then um, about a few months before the Wii U game came out, they said, oh, we're going to push it back six months or so and have it released simultaneously on the 360 and PS3. Um, but the wait was worth it, because the Wii U version, you can use the touchpad um, to play as... Murphy, this little guy that you cut like stuff, inter interact on the gamepad with the course to have Rayman go through. This game's amazing too. I did 100% it, I think. Um, there's one thing I have to get, and that's get a million lumens, and I can get the last guy, so that's the only thing I need to do. Um, it has some of the coolest stages and graphics I've seen in the platformer. <clears throat> um, like some of the music stages, like just awesome experience playing and hearing the music and you can almost time the jump to the beats and the sound of the music and play it with your eyes closed if you memorize those uh, tunes and cadences in your head with the music. Awesome game, Rayman Legends. And pick up Rayman Origins on the Wii or PS3 or 360 if you have it. Great game too. And this game's up there as my favorites on the system too. Another platformer, obviously. The Wii U has tons of good platformers. Scribblenauts Unlimited. I don't have much to say about this because I haven't played it yet, so I can't really comment on it. From what I hear, you draw different things and they come to life, but I'm not too sure. Shovel Knight, I, here is the physical release of Shovel Knight. comes with an awesome, awesome, thick instruction manual, which I love to see. I mean, look at the size of this instruction manual. Still has that new manual smell, which I love. Just awesome. I did pick it up for the 3DS too. And I beat it on the 3DS when it first came out. I liked it. Um, it got a lot of praise. Um, I liked it, but I didn't like love it super. Um, I never bothered going through 100%ing it. But very fun game. The soundtrack's amazing. The gameplay's amazing. And I'm playing through the Plague Knight expansion, which is free downloadable content. Um, it's 20 bucks to get a physical release. I mean, I had to support them. You know, I double dip and get the 3DS version just because I want to see more games like this come out with you know an actual manual, a physical copy. Awesome, charming, old, uh, old style, you know, 2D platforming at its finest. Um, Shovel Knight's very good, and thank you, Yacht Club Games, for releasing the physical version. Sonic and Ra All Stars Racing Transform, the sequel to Sonic All Stars Racing. Um, haven't played much of this. Did play a little. Wasn't huge into it, but it, it looked amazing and superb, and I heard it's very, very good. Sonic Lost World. See, that says the Deadly Bonus, Deadly Six Bonus Edition. I've heard mixed things about this game. I have not played it, but it is a platformer, and I want to play it. Um, I'm not the hugest Sonic fan. I did beat Sonic Three with help from a friend this year. Sonic Two, I should say. First time I ever saw the last boss, or farther in there, the, you know, I got you know saw the last boss in that game. I heard this is pretty decent. It's um, pretty. It looks like a gorgeous game. And yeah, Sonic Lost World. Here's Splatoon. And Splatoon came with this cool little squirt gun here. Splatoon was a, a really big hit for Nintendo. It came out of nowhere. No, I shouldn't say out of nowhere, but it became a big hit surprising a lot of people. A lot of people thought it would bomb. And it's like a team-based shooter. Um, I'm not big into online play, so I, funny enough, I haven't even played this game online yet. I'm going, I went through and beat the single player and I loved it. I'm currently going through and doing the amiibo challenges where you have to beat each level with a different weapon for each amiibo or amiibo. And I'm enjoying it just for the single player. I don't know if I'll ever jump into the multiplayer because I'm not, I don't like playing online a lot with people and shooters. Um, I played so much Team Fortress 2 that that kind of burnt me out on playing online shooters. Um, but for people who like to play online, I could see how this game is even better. Um, and they're still releasing lots of content for it. So yeah, Splatoon came out in May. Awesome game. Um, the Amiibos are great with it too. They look amazing. And look at the art on that disc with the squids. Pretty cool. Um, yeah, so yeah. Oh yeah, and you saw in here my receipt kind of fell out. I keep all the receipts in my games, so when I look back on it when I'm 50 or so, I can see, wow, look, I bought this on this day, you know, I, I just like, I like when you find receipts in games, you know, 
some games you get and stuff. It's like a little time capsule history thing. Ah, Super Mario 3D World, the big hit. The game that the Wii U people, everybody who bought a Wii U was waiting for a 3D Mario, and this game's amazing. I love it. I love it to death. I beat everything 100% that involves Champions Road with beating it with all five players. Rosalina is the fifth, who you unlock. Um, amazing game. I love this game to death. I would l I'm would. I'm going to play through it again as soon as I finish 3D Land, which I'm going to play through again because I didn't beat 3D Land on it. I played on a little 3DS original when I had it. This game has so much level design charm, and the cat suit's amazing. I love this game so much. I recently bought a nice Super Mario 3D World poster I have hanging up. Um, one of my favorite Mario games. I think I would have to put it up there with Super Mario World and Super Mario Brothers 2. Um, it's just amazing. Love it. I would love to see another 3D World game expanded on with like, you know, Super, the Super Mario Brothers 2, the USA version stuff on it. You know, that'd be awesome. Man. This game's amazing. Got this game for like nine bucks. Splinter Cell Blacklist. Um, I don't know why I got it. I, doesn't look interesting, but I never played a Splinter Cell, so I'll give it a shot. Maybe it will be good. I've heard it's good things about it. Um, there's just lots of games I don't know how to play and are intimidating to me, um, especially 3D games like this. Um, but who knows? I mean, I beat Ninja Gaiden on the Xbox, so I could probably play this. So yeah, Splinter Cell Blacklist. And that's a third-party title, too. Here's a game I got at launch, Tank Tank Tank. Um, I think it's free now. You can download for a while anyway. I think you could. It's a basic arcade shooter where you pick a tank and destroy giant bugs and monsters that come at you. That's it. That's the game. So I played some of it and it's okay. It's nothing great. Nothing bad, but nothing great. Wii Sports Club. I never played a lot of Wii Sports. So I figured I, you know, I get this and play some. And I played golf or and bowling a lot, mostly with my parents. I played mostly bowling. My mom loves the Wii bowling. So yeah, it, it's pretty fun. I think when I bring my Wii U over for Christmas, I will bring this, Yoshi's Woolly World, and yeah, and Super Mario 3D World too. I think I'll bring that too. It's just so many games to play on the Wii U. I'd love to play with my mom. And, and I think she loves bowling. And this game's just basically Wii Sports with HD graphics. I mean, and Wii Sports is, even though it's not my favorite game on the Wii, because you got to really have people to play with. Um, it's one of the most influential and best-selling games of all time, and this is basically it with just HD graphics. Getting towards the end, I know it's been a long video, guys, but just a lot of good games on a Wii U. Wonderful 101. I've never played a Platinum game. I did play Beautiful Joe, which was by the producer of this game, I think, um, Kame, Kame, Kamene, um, in Clover Studios before he made Platinum. I went to Platinum Studios. I've heard good things about this. You kind of draw and make the wonderful 101 moves and stuff, but I don't know anything about it. I heard it's hard to get into, but I heard once you do, it's just an amazing experience. Um, it's cool to have a unique game on the Wii U and a third-party game at that, so wonderful 101. Here's a game I got at launch and I really liked a lot. Um, I did beat it. Um, Zombie U. Uh, there was one part in this game where you go into a nursery and you fall into the basement that was one of the creepiest I mean and I played Amnesia and this gave me the feeling in that part it's just this creepy um, Amnesia for those who don't know it's a PC game where you lose your you don't have any recollection of what you're doing and you go in this you lose your sanity almost in this castle this game had a spooky part where you go in like a nursery and it oh, was just freaky but the one thing I don't like I got to the very end and this is going to be a little spoiler for those who haven't played it. You have to rush to the helicopter to evacuate with the antidote. If you get to the end with the antidote, you get a good ending. If you don't, which I didn't, you don't. And there's no chance to replay it again to get the good ending. You have to start over. That's one thing I did not like because I did, have not started it over since because I'm a big baby coming to these games. And I know <laughs> there's parts in this game that freak me out and I'm kind of hesitant to start it again. But I want to see the good ending and get take that antidote to the plane and escape. Um, but it just like wipes your save and you can't go back. And that was really disappointing. Um, but other than that, it's really fun. 
it's like an adventure. You got to find stuff, and you know, you play as like a, a survivor. Each time you die, you can go back and kill your old self, or beat your old self as a zombie, and um, or and get your stuff back. Um, it's it was later ported to the three six, or I think the three sixty and PS three. I think it came out on PC later, just called Zombie. Um, it was an early game, didn't sell well, so Ubisoft didn't really support the Wii U much after that, but very good game. And wow, that was a lot of games, and this this video is 40, year, 40, 40 years, 40 minutes long, and that just goes to show you how much I love the Wii U. Lots of good games on it, mostly platformers, but that's the kind of games I do like. Not, um, and if you haven't gotten one yet, you know, pick one up. If you if any of these games tweaked your piqued your interest, if you like platformers, you should have had one by now. But it, you know, if you, you're, you even if you have kids, I got my nephew one, and he loves it. Um, I'm thinking of getting him Yoshi's Woolly World this year, and just uh, it's a joy to play and a fun system. It feels like a game console, um, and that's the best compliment I can give. And it, it feels like a Nintendo game console, and that's the best compliment I can give. So happy birth, third birthday, we, Nintendo Wii U. I know you get a lot of slack and flack. You get a lot of flack from people, but you really do have a lot of good games. And, you know, over 10 million consoles sold, even though it took a while. That's still a lot of consoles, so here's hoping you last for another three years, or at least until the end of 2017. That'll be five years, so. Everybody, happy Thanksgiving. Enjoy your time off if you have some. I hope you have some. Um, enjoy it with your family, and play some Wii U if you can. Um, take care. Bye.